So hi guys, as you can see, today's video is a bit different. So I'll be starting off with a fresh face. So I have my aloe vera toner, which by the way is just basically a miracle that helps me just get through that day getting in the moisture after a nice face wash. So I'm just trying to get in there, give it a minute to soak in because that's what you need to do with your toner. So after putting in on layers, I move on to my dermal roller. So this is basically just a quick device that allows me to poke through my skin. It just has micro needles, I'll attach the link. So how it works is that it triggers collagen, allows blood flow and just gives you an overall healing effect. So this really helped me clear my dark spots or rather just lighten them or brighten them would be the best word. So once you just have to go through your skin, um, each side evenly. Next you move on to your alloy mask. So I started with alloy due to its healing benefits which are well known. What you'll notice when you open the package is that it is soaked and you First of all, you need to unfold it. It's folded in half and you need to unfold it in order to put it flat on your face. Uh, always ensure that the nose flap is on the outside such that it will lie on your nose instead of just complicating the whole issue. So as you can see, this is me struggling to unravel it and we finally have some progress. So as you can see, it's a... Uh, Typically four holes, but really the nose flap will cover your nose, so it is three holes. So just take time to align, place it flat on your face. You can face up, it usually helps to get that mask on. Yeah, corona things. Anyway, yeah, so once you have it flat on your face, what you need to make sure is that it's completely flat, it's aligned to your face. Uh, nothing is like on your eye, for example, it needs to be aligned with those holes. Uh, I know the face mask might not fit everyone's face, but this is so generic that it will allow everyone's eyes and mouth and nose to be at least at the correct placement. I know you can see that I still have like a big patch of forehead left out, but uh, the important parts have been covered. Uh, just make sure you massage the alloy mask very well on your face. Just give it time to settle. Make sure that uh, any corners are completely flat, any air bubbles are smoothened out and this will just help you ensure that the osmosis that I spoke about in the previous video actually happens because it's really important that your skin soaks up all that goodness and that nutrients that is already inside the mask. So this should be the spa treatment you give yourself once in a while. You can see I'm really enjoying this because it had a cooling effect. So I'm going to leave this for 30 minutes. So 30 minutes later and I'm here and look at me pull this mask off. You can see it's completely dry compared to what initially started. So something to note is how dewy my skin looks right after peeling off that mask. So because I want to keep this moisture, I'm going to go for my snail cream. Uh, this is what I use to moisturize, it's a, around 1500. Uh, so when you use this, it has also its own healing effects. If you notice, I'm just speaking about healing a lot and that's what I'm trying to get my skin to do. I'm just giving it the environment to heal. My technique when applying this moisturizer is using um, one hand. I noticed it's more effective to ensure that you have completely spread out your cream evenly because when you use two hands, a lot is lost in your hands and yeah, basically you don't moisturize your face, you end up moisturizing your hands more. Also another item is that you overlook certain parts of your face like under your eyes, um, the further corners of your forehead, you know some of us who have very expansive foreheads and under your chin. So this one hand technique, I'd encourage you to try it out, uh, let me know how it works for you. So just take time to just m massage your face, you know, it's yours, it's, give it all the love it deserves and just take in. But what I love about this mask is how do it left my face, I felt refreshed. This is definitely something I'd recommend at the end of the day after you take off your makeup, if you do do makeup, 
you just need something to just refresh your face before you go to bed and this is definitely it in terms of healing obviously it's not instant uh, this is something I'll do again and I'm sure over time it will actually allow you to just take up that good good alloy thanks for watching and do take care of your glue bye guys